Welcome to Waxker's little classroom. This session will guide you through file imports, machine edge findings, and preview operations. Next, we will introduce laser output, machine homing, and focusing steps. On your computer, open Lightburn. Click the Choose button in the software interface and select the corresponding machine port. At this point, the software has successfully connected to the engraver. Now, let's start importing the file. Click the File menu in the upper left corner of the software, then select Open. In the pop-up window, click here to select a file from your computer. Here you can select the file format. Select the desired file, then click Open. This way, the file is successfully imported. Next, adjust the laser output settings. Click Edit at the top left of the software interface, then click Device Settings. In the pop-up window, click the Enable Laser Fire button to turn it green. Click OK. Next, select the Windows option in the software interface. In the drop-down menu that appears, select and check Move. Here, you'll see the newly added Move button. Click the Move button. Fire is used to test the laser head's output. 0% power here cannot meet the laser output requirements. It can be set to low power for focusing or positioning usually set to around 3-5. Click Fire. At this moment, a blue light spot appears on the laser head, indicating normal laser output. Now, begin border tracing. Click these two buttons to preview the laser cutting or engraving path. In most cases, select this button. Click this button and the laser head will trace the cutting boundary along a circular path. Click this button and the laser head will trace the cutting boundary along a square path. Edge tracing is complete. Proceed to preview. In the software, right-click with the mouse and select Preview from the pop-up menu. The preview window shows basic engraving and cutting info, plus estimated completion time. Click OK. Preview is fine, set the machine to zero. Click the Home button in the software. The machine will automatically return to the starting position, completing the zeroing process. The last step is focusing the laser. Take out the laser head. The last step is focusing the laser. Then, install the laser head onto the engraving machine. During installation, ensure the focus knob touches the surface of the material. The laser head can be moved up and down to adjust the height. Turn the screws clockwise to tighten and secure the laser head. Finally, rotate the focus knob 90 degrees clockwise. The focusing is now complete. This is the proper focal distance after adjustment. Now, first open the laser gribble software. Click the X button to cancel the update. Click the Connect button to connect to the engraving machine. Next, import the file. Click the File menu, then select and click Open File from the drop-down menu. Here, you can select the file type. Select the desired file, then click Open. 
Here you can adjust the image parameters. Here you can choose the image conversion method. Click Preview to see an approximate engraving effect of the image. Click Next. Here you can set the engraving speed and power. Here you can adjust the size of the graphics. Click Create. This way, the file is successfully imported. Then set the laser output. Hover the mouse over the laser button to see the prompt, turn on laser for focusing 3%. 3% power is not sufficient to meet the laser output requirements. Right-click the mouse and select Edit button to edit and modify it. Change the value after M3 to 150 to set the laser output to 15% power. Click Save. This button is also used to control the laser output. Right-click the mouse and select Edit button to edit and modify it. Change the value after S to 150 to set the laser output to 15% power. Click Save. Now the laser output is set. Click this button to keep the laser on continuously. Every time this button is clicked, the laser will shine once. Laser firing completed, next proceed to machine homing. If the laser head is positioned in the middle of the machine or elsewhere, click the home button. The machine is now homing, returning to the engraving starting position. The machine's default home position is the engraving start point. Because the software engraves upwards from the bottom left corner, Manually move the laser head to the material's bottom left corner and ensure it's properly aligned. After positioning the laser head at the material's bottom left corner, you can begin the preview. Click the Framing Laser On button, and the laser head will trace the image's edges once. Adjust the laser head based on the preview to ensure accurate engraving. You can also click here to move the laser head to the bottom left corner of the material. After moving, the set zero point button turns colorful. If you preview directly, the laser head will return to the machine's origin to start moving. You need to click the set zero point button and the icon will turn gray. This position is the actual engraving starting point. Start previewing now. Click Framing Laser On to start the preview. If the preview is correct, click Run Program to start engraving. This concludes today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Join our Facebook group Welcome All.